after back to back incidents near the same restaurant. In one case, a woman was arrested after police say she hit a man with a cinder block and her high heel shoe. But she claims it was all in self-defense. NBC 10's Temi Topa Adelaia spoke with her and is live on Federal Hill with more details. Hey, Temi Topa. Barb and Emily, despite being arrested by Providence Police Saturday morning, the woman involved says that she is the real victim and has the scars to prove it. <laughs> and then they're over here like criminalizing me like what? I'm not a criminal. Like. I don't want to look like this. Badly bruised and scratched up with a brace. Federal Hill resident Ashley Soto Morales says she is a victim. I was supposed to fly to Florida the next day and this happens to me. That's not right. She was arrested Saturday around two in the morning after police say she hit a man in the head with her high heel shoe and a cinder block. The situation unfolding in a residential parking lot behind Oka Restaurant and Captain Louis Seafood Boyle. Police say they found a disoriented man bleeding from his head. Soto Morales lives in the apartments nearby and says the situation started while trying to find parking for her friends. He was parked right here. Right here. So when I came out, I came out from here. I walked and I walked right here and I was like, Hey, I was like, go. I was like, hey, park right here, park right here, because these two are my parking spots. She says the man pulled out of the space, sideswiping her. And I was like, are you serious? You just hit me. Morales said the driver got out of the car and things got physical. He walked up to me. He was like, do you want a piece of me? You want a piece of me? And that's when he went, bow. And I was like, oh, and that's when I fell right here. And that's when I scraped my knees. She says he punched her again before she got up and ran after him with her heel, ending up near this tree in a pile of cinder blocks where she says she hit him and two bystanders came in to de-escalate the situation. Police say surveillance footage from OPA shows Morales in a verbal argument with the victim, and then two unidentified men hitting the driver. NBC10 has been working to get the surveillance video from police, but we've been unsuccessful. The Federal Hill Commerce Association president says he has all the videos, but refused to share it with us. Yes, I have the video, to be very frank with you. We will not be releasing the video. Um, and we've asked our small businesses also to work with us to further this investigation. We'd like to see the investigation closed. That's all I care for, justice, really, because somebody else is going to go through what I went through. Morales says that the surveillance video only shows the incident with the cinder block and not the moments leading up to it. The entire investig the entire incident is still under investigation. Live in Providence, Semi Talk Badalea, NBC 10 News.